So this arrived today, Amazon Prime. It's my new drone. And there it is. So this is the Hubson FPV and the model number is H502S. Range in terms of toys but it's uh, bottom of the range in terms of professional droning. It's got some great features, the high definition camera, which I'll show you more of. The GPS, so that's going to use satellites to keep it in one place, even if the wind blows it. Automatic return home function is really good, we'll see that in action. Altitude hold also, speaks for itself, it's going to stay at the same height. And that's done using the sensor, a bar barometric sensor. Air pressure. Follow me function is going to be an amazing bit of fun for kayaking, I'm hoping, or following following on a bike, that sort of thing. So, let's have a look. Just showing you how to connect the propellers. I have to have a read of that later. And you have to do that for each flight really, because um, to pack it up in this small box, which is what you'd want to do I guess if you were going to go hiking or something. Um, there it is anyway. Looks tiny, isn't it? So yeah, you could fit the propellers, keep them on all the time, but because it is quite small, isn't it? So what we got? We got the drone. Pop that there. And the remote. Bits. I'm just going to clip this GoPro onto me. So what else we got? Sunshield, brilliant. Because on a bright day, all you've got to look at, you see, is the screen here. So that's the remote, and that's the screen on top of it here. Um, but obviously on a bright day it's going to be problematic because you can't really see the orientation of the drone when it's distant so you do need that screen more to follow what else we got now spare parts i'm going to need them blades hopefully spare parts and instructions and disclaimer I do love an unboxing there she is look looks tiny but from what I've seen it is a clever bit of kit can't wait to try it out hopefully I'll get more than one flight out of it right I'm going to read on, set some stuff 
but set it all up and get back to you. Ciao for now. So what we got in the packaging, I'm well pleased to find that there's not only a battery in the uh, controller itself, a lithium battery. I'm told you get about a quarter of an hour flight time with it. But in the spares, it also comes with a battery, which is wicked. So one can be charging while the other one's being used type. The original, the four blades plus four spares. And then some of the, and then the rotor protectors, uh, the, the, the rotor guards, four of them. Protects the propellers. A few screws, probably spares for the propellers and stuff. And then we've got a USB charger. And that'll be to charge these batteries up. That'll go just straight in there. And that'll plug into, yep, USB charger. All the propellers are falling out. Not a good start. And then the sun shield. That I was going on and on about. So yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing that needs doing. Reading up on. I just want to get in the air. So, let's get set up. So there she is in her full glory. I'll put the propellers on. That did take a while. Um, I don't envisage wanting to do that. Start, stop, start, stop if I'm going places. So, probably going to keep the propellers on which means I'll have to come up with some sort of safe way of carrying it around because the packaging doesn't um, accommodate it with the uh, propellers on. That's no problem. Um, just charging the battery up. Goes slides in there. It was charged, but I'm just giving it a maximum until I get a green light on the thingy. And then I'm going to pop out to the park, I think, in a minute. There's no SD card in there, so I can't do any recording immediately other than what I've got on this GoPro camera here this one that's on my chest so we'll see it fly we'll see how I can fly it if I can fly it um, and it will be interesting but filming onboard filming we'll just have to wait for a while so off to the park now Thank <laughs> you. 